Hello everyone, so another busy week ahead. Uh, this week we are making some repairs to this broken granite sink and making it good again and fitting it to our outdoor kitchen. We also run into problems with our temporary pond, so we come up with a solution for that. We do a bit more block work to our barn and the beams have arrived for Dave and Julie's, so we go and do that as well. And I do a really easy blackberry ice cream recipe for you. So we've just bought this scrap uh, granite sink. As you can see, there's a bit of damage to it. Um, you need lots of bits and pieces with it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is repair this. Um, yeah, we bought this from Facebook Marketplace off a friend of ours actually, but we bought stuff off her before. She's moving to Ireland from here. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do some repairs, show you guys how to do, how I'm going to do it anyway, and uh, we'll make a good sink of it, hopefully. So seeing as it's the same type of granite as this, um, well, I'll make the sink go here, and the reason behind that is, I've already put in, years ago, I've already put in uh, sink waste and water, so I always intended to have a sink here, but I couldn't find any of this granite. Now we have some. Uh, all things come to those who wait, they say. So yeah, I'll be fitting the sink here. Anyway, back to the sink. Now, I've noticed there's a crack here and a crack here. So I've put some special glue in there to try and keep them because it's not broken along here. So, you know, uh, maybe I've got some polymer uh, filler some to, to, to fill the crack and then I can polish that it should be okay because I don't want to it's all fixed along here as well so it's just crack two cracks which I think you know it's an outdoor sink it, it should be fine this end what I need to do is cut this off square with a diamond blade and cut this off square and then I'm going to fit it so the piece of worktop I got sits over there slightly um, I'll show you what I mean so here I'm going to fit this piece of timber to the wall like so, with some concrete screws, yeah? Uh, then I'll probably, we've moved this centre leg support, which is in the middle there, I've moved it to here. And then I'll, I'm going to build a wall, see this line here? I'm going to build a, a concrete block wall up there to support the other end of the sink. So yeah, let's see.
going to do a row of blocks here, obviously to support the end of the sink. There we go, oh, uh, not quite. Level, plum, and uh, I just need to find something here, 55mm to make up, this is the underside of the sink top, yeah. Whether I've got a piece of timber on top, I would rather have a piece of block or bricks or something, I'll see what I've got, see what I can find. So I just so happened to find a piece of cedar um, which I'm going to now prepare for the top of this because by the time I stick that down with a bit of um, mastic adhesive stuff that'll be spot on. But before I do that I'm going to use the rest of this on the barn that way uh, and lay some more blocks in the lovely sunshine.
So there we go, that's a, through, a few more thrown on, all level and plumb. Uh, now back to the sink. So what I'm going to do is take a permanent marker. I wish I had a finer point on it, but Ange won't let me have the ones with fine points. Don't know why. So I need to measure this distance from the corner there to get it equidescent on the other side. And the advantage of having a tape with metric and imperial on it is that's exactly 19 inches. <laughs> uh, which is there. Same this side. Hmm. It's not helping. That way that I can set the sink up to the existing worktop. That'll be square off it. So I'm using uh, my little hip battery Hilti um, angle grinder with a diamond with a diamond disc on it. So that's those two bits there now cut off square. What I've got to do now is clean off this mastic somehow because it's really tough stuff. Probably use a Stanley blade. Clean this mastic off. Wow. Sticky stuff. Okay. okay, so uh, lack of lifting devices, etc. I've decided the best way to get the very heavy sink, but it's heavy but very delicate. Obviously, if we drop it, it's just in pieces. Yeah, Excellent. very heavy sink up this hastily made ramp, uh, which is should roughly be this. Right. I can lift it here, I can't lift it up. You know what I mean? That height. I don't know how. I'll, I'll work out how heavy it is. But so we're going to attempt. Just slide back up a little bit. To to do that, right? 
And again, this is much better if I try and do it on my own because um, I can, one person can get out of the way, get out of the way a lot quicker than two. So I intend just to just slide it centre gravity up this, just proving relatively easy so far. Swing around. Because so, the good thing with polished granite is it's very slidey. Now we've got a problem. What I need to do is either tilt that like so. Just a simple, could you just lift the end of that timber bit? One moment, please. I might have to film with your bum at the moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hang on, stop. Okay, a bit more. Okay. Right. Okay. Bit of a weird few things, so obviously I was one handed there. Right, let's uh Wow, that. Huh? That. So I've got some polymer filler. I'll fill in this little gap of, on this little gap here. But it sort of matches and goes alright, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, it needs a bit of a clean up, but uh, wow, that's uh, pretty good. Well done, darling. Just like my strong easy. and pretty. Strong. <laughs> so after. Um, Bit of a clean up and consulting with the oracle that is Andrea we've decided <laughs> this wall will be going up against here yeah and the bottom three blocks will be 16 inch blocks 150 mil so you'll have a 50 mil bearing underneath the heavy sink yeah to take the weight of the sink there and then this post will be replaced by a circular or around a uh, eucalyptus post which will match the, all the other posts we have and the legs on the table etc etc <coughs> so yeah a little bit of redesign but um, yeah loving it it's looking good I may even cut this so this gap reduces this is tight here so I'll cut it so that gap is tight as well. There we go. Happy go? Yep. So what have you been doing in the kitchen? Uh, well I've been <laughs> smashing up hazelnuts. But And what else? Ah, I'm just getting ready to make yep. blackberry ice cream. So unfortunately the cover we put over the uh, temporary pool has blown away in the wind, smashed to bits. Um, but we have another problem, as you can see, I don't know if you can see. We have, apart from green water, mosquitoes. Uh, I don't want to, I'm not going to put any more chlorine in because, to be honest, we're not swimming in this. So, what we're going to do is, obviously the chlorination is not working anymore or I'm putting enough in, uh, is transfer the plants the remaining living plants from the pond into this yeah and then we can um, then, then we'll save plants and we won't be using this anyway so I'll show you how we're going to rescue some animals as well so seeing as it's over 40 degrees today um, I thought it'd be a nice day to put wellies on so as we can see we have the fashion expert here uh, but, but the water's getting hot so I need to rescue the animals that are left in there and all those animals like I just showed you uh, will eat the mosquitoes and keep themselves happy but we also need to put some plants in there for shade so just thinking there might be a snake in here <laughs> froglets lots of froglets and now they're all hiding yeah Oh, this is going to be great fun. Uh, <laughs> I don't 
Have you got some water in that bucket? Yeah, hang on. This is not not good. Let's do it down as well. Yeah, this is mostly um, broken down leaf. Leaf and animal feces. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what we're going to do is transfer the plants first into the pond, and because or into the pool. The pool's too deep, so I'm going to have to put some crates in to sit other crates of plants. If that makes sense. So I'm hoping these don't float. If they do, we're going to have to weight them down. Yeah, they float. Put a crate of plants on top of that. Yep, hang on. Put that there for now. Right, we need another weight. But there, we'll take those stones off then when we put the plants on top. Yeah. yeah. Okay, more crates. Well, do you want to bring a crate of plants on there first? Oh, they sink better. Not brilliant, but better. Stay down. Will one stone go across two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and this one. Yes. We just happened to have found these uh, by the bins. By the bins, actually. So it's amazing what. Uh, as Come I say, in handy. One man's rubbish is another man's treasure. What I've done is packed the plants that we want to keep, obviously most of them, and they can sit on there. I think I might have to put a stone in them actually. Oop. Let's try and light the stone. Just to keep them down. There. Maybe I overestimated how many we had, but... Oh. Okay, we can take this one out. What we could do is like a, an island almost for like anything to get up onto. What have we got? Yeah, maybe just build up something of the Well, let's open this one. Probably friendly. Yeah, yeah, put a stone on top. Is that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Well, it's next to that. Uh, I could put more stones on if you like. Yeah. They could have a little like, <coughs> jacuzzi there. So the problem with using the bath as something to rescue the plants in is that it got very hot. And we had a leak. So, and we had a leak. <laughs> So what I'm going to do now is pump out the remaining water and animals into this and then when it settles out we can fish them out with a net easier. That's the plan. That's the plan. Lovely pond water. And hopefully lots of little creatures as well. Right, we just 
leave that do its thing then, yeah? Yeah, I'll get back in there and... So, hopefully we're doing the right thing. And what we'll do then is get in here and everything's near with the pump. Just take a big bucket full of... Uh, Bucket full of sludgy stuff, put it in the bath, and then they can sort themselves out. And when they're on the surface, we can scoop them off easier than in here, obviously. So we'll put some shade over this, but as you can see, although they've had a rough ride... <laughs> it's uh, a bit like a water park. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there are lots of tadpoles, so future frogs, etc. So we'll rescue So what we'll these. do when this is settled is scoop them out. As you can see them here. And beetly things, whatever that is. Oh, it's a water scorpion, I think. Oh, yeah. And yeah, like I said, they've had a bit of a rough ride, but we'll put some shade over this and then uh, we can transfer them to the bigger pond. Anyone knows what these things are? Tadpoles. No, the <laughs> Beetles. Scorpion eating. Oh yeah, he's quite cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's lots of stuff in here. Cool, let's say survive the journey. So today I'm uh, back at David Julie's. I'm going to put wooden beams across the ceiling for support yeah um, I'll show you a little little bit of us doing that and then I'll show you what else we've done
So there we go, the beams are in. And um, what we did, I, I made some shutter in to go around the end of the beam. And then we filled that with concrete. I'll show you. That's all filled with concrete now. So the beam sat on concrete and obviously when I built these blocks, these were all filled with concrete as well. So then it gives a nice footing for the beam there. And the same on this end. Yeah, we've shot it both sides. Let me show you around here. Do -do 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 -do. So this beam's in as well. We shut it both sides and then uh, filled inside with concrete. Yay. So then leave that a couple of days, strike the shutters off. These ac this acro and those three acros there can come out. And we just have to build this wall up and do the same concrete uh, section of this in as well. Nice! <laughs> Hello. Oh man, it's bloody hot! Okay, easy ice cream. No eggs, so no cooking it and praying that it doesn't turn into um, scrambled eggs. Uh, fresh cream. It needs to be at least 30% fat for this to go. So, don't know if you can just see there. So, obviously it's in Portuguese, but that's fat. And per 100 mil, it's 30, so 30%. I do. Now we're going to whip it, and I'm going to cheat because I'm going to use my lovely Kenwood. So I'm going to put two of these in. A bit more of a shake actually because the cream's near the top. That's <laughs> deliberate. Is it? Yeah, they make them all like that though. Oh, right. So you don't, don't drop the cap. It's the same. Okay, didn't know that. Well, there's a little bit that I'll need scraping out in a minute, because you know what I'm like. Watch. Oh yeah. yeah. How annoying. Yes. <laughs> oh, really? Right. That is just ridiculous. There's probably some... I'll see it. We need to get the, all that cream out because this is quite a lot left in there still. I shall do that. In. Okay, so now I've put the cream in here. I'm going to start to whisk it. So we'll just let that... Right, we've uh, got this. Oh, it would. On that. Yeah, that's stiff peaks. That's stiff peaks. I'll give yeah. stiff peaks. Okay, now in here I have condensed milk. I've put in 450 grams, and into that I'm going to add some vanilla essence. So I will try to be a bit. I'll put a couple of teaspoons in. And we're just going to give this a quick whisk up together oh, it's really vanilla well it's vanilla and egg with them mm. so that's nicely combined now we're going to add the two together so we're just going to gently fold these in to each other so we do need to uh, Right, so. <laughs> so I'm just going to start to gently mix this in together. Last bits in because uh, can't leave any of this behind. 
Right, we're just going to fold all this in and then I'm going to pour it into, I've got a, just a bread tin. I couldn't think what they called. So I'm just going to pour that in there now. So we'll do this. Now, I have blackberries. These were frozen, only picked a couple of days ago, frozen. Um, about half an hour into the freezing process. So I'm letting these thaw out a little bit. I'm going to mash them up a little bit and then I'm going to mix them through. But we'll show you that in a minute because if you're thinking, where's the blackberries? They're here. So. Pour it all in. Okay, so this little chap is going in the freezer. And like I said, these, I'm gonna mash them up a little bit so that they can then be easily spread through. And that'll be fabulous little, I'll keep a few whole ones to decorate the top as well. So, and that's the base. This is a basic vanilla ice cream. So you can put any fruit and stuff. You could even um, put in some cocoa powder to make a nice chocolate ice cream as well. You know. Cocoa nibs. Cocoa Chocolate nibs. chips. Cho anything. Oh, mint. Mint. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I think I've got a lot of ice cream to get on and make. <laughs> okay, so the blackberries have thawed out a little bit. I've rescued a few to sprinkle on the top, whole ones. I'm just squidging up the rest because this is going to be like a, a ripple through them, hopefully. Mm. Oh, ooh, blackberry ripple ice cream. Nice. And a few lumpy bits of that. <laughs> Their plastic bag fights back. So I'm just going to dollop a bit at a time. This smells lovely. Oh, that looks even just that little bit there. But I'm just gonna go for it with all this lot. So we'll just do a quick fold it all through. these few whole ones on the top then. I'll get most of it off, I might have to have a little bit left on the spoon. Mm -hmm. So Go put back in the freezer and when can I start eating? If you're a good boy. When it's frozen. Yes, when it's frozen, <laughs> obviously. Have you been a good boy? I'm always good. This up there is good. <laughs> really? Cool. Yeah. Well, and there's your little bowl, you can have a scoop. So I did. Nice, look at that. Just one? <laughs> Just one. Okay. It's only a taster. Okay. This is for breakfast, by the way. Ice cream for breakfast. And? Oh. It's so creamy. It's uh, condensed milk. So really easy to do. Oh yeah, that's really and good. It's had a really good um, outcome. Yeah. Fantastic. Really quick to do. Um, like I say, no worries about eggs curd or not curdling, scrambling I should say. But and the nice thing is, like I say, the basic vanilla recipe, and then you can add any fruit um, or cocoa, chocolate. It's 
really really so we shall be definitely mm. making lots of this I think mm. peppermint tea <laughs> so on that note okay on that note thanks for watching everyone thanks for liking thanks for subscribing and uh, thanks for ringing that little don't forget to ring that little ding notification ding. bell and we'll see you in the next one and definitely make some of this it's <laughs> awesome rush. stuff mm. bye bye they're like the worst things in the world it's like i'm murdering them what's mommy doing to you quinn I put this cool towel on you what's she doing to you oh no oh you poor little dog he's traumatized no, he's not. They, they think it's lava. What are you doing, Kevin? Wait for ice cream, Dad. Oh. <coughs>